All right. I'm Maurice Sojak, one of the general surgeons in town over here. And I, my project was essentially focused on looking at unnecessary ultrasounds in the diagnosis of uh, inguinal hernias. So inguinal hernias are fairly common problems. Basically, there's a lifetime risk up to 25% for men and women, majority being men, but they do often uh, happen in women as well. Um, frequently, we get referrals from general surgery from our family physicians, and uh, often these do come with an accompanying ultrasound. And typically, uh, inguinal hernias are fairly easy to detect on clinical examination, especially if they're larger ones. And we find as the, from the surgeon population that the ultrasounds rarely influence what we do with them at the end of the day. If there's a palpable hernia, we often will suggest getting it fixed if, if required. And if there's no palpable hernia, often we don't provide an operation or we don't offer an operation. So my idea was that we perhaps we could reduce the number of unnecessary ultrasounds and therefore hopefully save both patients and the healthcare system time and, and some expense. So this is just a little slide to horrify you for the morning. But uh, basically, you know, to just illustrate the point that inguinal hernias come in a variety of sizes. This is quite a subtle one. It's a more obvious one, and you can't miss that. So <laughs> they, they certainly come in a wide variety. So the objectives essentially were to uh, first estimate the proportion of referrals um, to my practice in which patients had clin clinically detectable inguinal hernias that had an unnecessary ultrasound accompanying the initial referral. And then uh, once we had that data communicate to general practitioners that an ultrasound is not necessary for clinically palpable inguinal hernias, and then finally kind of record the data and detect the change in the frequency of the ultrasounds that are accompanying these referrals that are sent to me. So I essentially used a retrospective chart review. Uh, I didn't make an attempt at getting my other surgeons in, in the group to join in, but they were a little hesitant at first or, or difficult to get a hold of, so I essentially just made it a, a practice audit to start, and then we'll see if we can roll it out to them later. Once the uh, data was completed, we uh, sent some um, a letter to the GPs that referred to me anyways, kind of outlining the process and um, just suggesting that if they had an obvious hernia, they did not need to send an ultrasound. So that's gone out and uh, we are ongoing with the measurement of uh, the referrals that are coming in. It's only been out for the letter, I think, it's been out for a month or so, so I don't have any, any robust data yet. So just looking at my own data, the pattern of hernia referrals in my practice, so basically for a total in 2016 when I reviewed all the data that was coming into me, I had 49 clinically palpable hernias and 18 occult ones, meaning that people were sent in probably for another reason, uh, groin pain would be the most common, and they had an ultrasound attached saying there was a hernia there, but nothing obvious on palpation. So the majority of the referrals I get are actually for fairly obvious palpable inguinal hernias. And then when you look at the number that are actually clinically detectable, um, those that actually came with ultrasounds, almost up, essentially a third of them came in with an ultrasound that probably wasn't really needed and didn't change anything, and then two-thirds uh, were just sent in with the clinical diagnosis. So if you extrapolate that using our fee structures for billing for ultrasound interpretation, essentially it's almost $90 for a radiologist to read an ultrasound of the groin. And if you multiply that by the number in my practice alone that for the year that we could have saved, it's roughly about $1,600. And then take that out to all the general surgeons in town here alone, um, we can almost save maybe up to $20,000 a year or so in ultrasound costs, which I think is, is a fair reduction. If you have any more, if you want any more information, stop by and see me afterwards. <laughs>